Welcome at the E2 channel. This video was supposed to be a bike pump review. I bought these super small bike pumps and thought it would be cool to review them and then something very strange happened because of this little furry baby. I put them in the docking station to charge the batteries. I went down to paint some bikes at the paint shop and when I came back, guess what happened? My 110 pound furry baby was chewing one of these bike pumps. Check it out, can you see all these dents? Yeah, who made these dents? Sasha, yeah, Sasha, did you make these dents? Yeah. Is this a chewing toy? No, it's not. But yeah, luckily the pump survived so we can do the review. And yeah, I will test them for you. I prepared some tires, super small road bike tire, mountain bike tire and a fat bike tire. Let's go ahead and let's do a review. These super small bike pumps are made by Cyc Plus, which is obvious. And I already have a battery bike pump from Cyc Plus since 2018, which works fine for me. So I thought I buy these pumps mainly for you to test them out so you don't have to. And it's a series of three pumps the AS2, which is the smallest one, then there's the AS2 Pro, which I don't have, and the AS2 Pro Max, which is a little bit bigger, but it's mainly, mainly made for mountain bike tires. And yeah, as mentioned before, the AS2 is the smallest one with only 96 grams, super lightweight, but it has only a trigger in the back. As you can see, no display. The AS2 Pro, which I don't have, has the same form factor like the AS2, but it comes with a display in the back, which I highly recommend. And there's the AS2 Pro Max, which also has the display in the back, but it's a little bit bigger, double the form factor of the AS2, double the weight of the AS2, 205 gram, but you have the display in the back. You can dial in the pressure you like to use. It stops automatically and you can switch between bar and PSI, which is super useful. And the bigger AS2 Pro Max comes with more adapters for mountain bike tires, also for basketballs and other things. And the small AS2 is mainly made for road bike tires, so it comes only with a road bike adapter. And those pumps have these rubber housings. They are made because of the heat expansion of the pumps, but I don't use them because I already have rubber hands because of the bike painting I do. So yeah, that's mainly all. But you have to keep the user manual of the smallest one because there's a chart inside which refers to the time you have to pump until you reach a specific pressure. So don't waste the user manual of the small AS2. This user manual is mainly useless because these pumps are self-explanatory. There are only three buttons. Super easy. Now let's use them and let's check them out. And now it gets a bit tricky with the AS2 because I have no display to dial in the pressure. I have to measure the pressure by the time the pump pumps air into the tire. And yeah, I have this small chart in the user manual, but it's only for 25 millimeter tires. This is a 23 millimeter tire, so it's nearly rough guessing. And I like to reach six bars, so I have to pump nearly 100 seconds, a bit more than one and a half minute. And yeah, I will use my phone to measure the time. So yeah, let's set the countdown and then let's put on the pump. One click on the button until it uh, flashes green. That means the pump is fully charged. Then put the pump on the tire. It's flat as you can see, no air in the tire. And yeah, Sasha will leave the video because he hates the sound of the pump. And yeah, I will put it on and then I measure the time. Yeah, the AS2 does the job. It's a little bit hot from pumping, but the pressure was a rough guessing. So I will use the AS2 Pro Max because it has a display in the back to check out how much pressure is in the tire. Let's do this first and let's put it on. And we have around about 8.3 bar in the tire. <laughs> That's a bit more than I expected. I expected maximum six bar. So yeah, it's only a rough guessing. And that's very tricky because the tire can handle maximum eight bar. Now we have 8.6 uh, bar 
which is more than expected and that can be very dangerous if you have no display in the back. And that's why I recommend the pump with the display in the back because yeah, I expect it to pump round about um, 100 to 50, 450 seconds as the chart explains because if you want to reach 6.8 or 7 bar you should pump 160 seconds and I pumped only 100 seconds for more than 8 bar. So be careful using this pump, that's the first thing. And the second thing I have to check is the charging of the pump. Now it's orange, maybe you can see it, and that means the pump is only half full, the battery is only half full. Maybe you can pump another tire, but it's mainly made for pumping only one tire, then you have to charge it again. But yeah, we can try again, if we can pump again 100 seconds, and if yes, you can pump two tires for a complete bike. And here I am with the AS2 after pumping two road bike tires. Now it's flashing red as you can see and the use of the pump is super tricky because I had different results. In the first run I pumped 100 seconds and I had a pressure of 8.3 bar round about or 8.6 I'm not really sure but the second pump measured 8.3 so let's say 8.3. After pumping 30 seconds in the second tire I had 3.1 bar and after pumping another 30 seconds I had 4.8 bar. So 60 seconds in total give 4.8 bar and 100 seconds maybe the double of 8.6 bar. So it's only rough guessing, super 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 tricky. If you pump too long you can blow a tire and yeah. If you have another pump, you can measure the pressure of course. If you don't have, it gets super tricky and it's only rough guessing. But now let's use the bigger pump because it has a display, also an auto function. It stops automatically which is super helpful and let's pump another tire. The mountain bike tire is a standard size 26 by 2.25 inch, nothing special. But at first let's check the pump. It comes with a display as mentioned and when you press the plus and minus button you can switch between PSI and bar. That's super handy. So I like to go with bar and when you press the plus or minus button you can dial in the pressure you like. I pre-dialed it in to 3 bar as you can see. And yeah, I mounted also the adapter for the Schrader valve, that's important. And I use my phone to measure the time to fill the tire. And then let's go. Let's put it on. Let's press on and let's go. Inflating the mountain bike tire was super fast. It took only 1 minute and 22 seconds and I was able to inflate the tire 4 times before the battery set empty and a recharge is necessary. But I had to put on the silicone sock because the pump got super hot, even too hot for me. Yeah, now I do a recharge and then I do the fat bike tire. Let's make it short, inflating the fat bike tire took 2 minutes and 17 seconds and I was able to inflate the tire 3 times and you have to use this adapter, that's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm a bit undecided about these pumps. <laughs> the smaller AS2 is maybe a chewing toy for Sasha. Do you want a chewing toy? Yes. The bigger AS2 Pro Max is a suitable pump for me of course, for mountain bike tires. But I'm not really sure. You can charge only four times a mountain bike tire and two times a road bike tire. I see this as an emergency pump. You can put it easy in your pocket, but you have no display. Yeah, in my opinion, that can be a pump for travel if you have... <laughs> Sasha, Sasha, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, that's a chewing toy for you, I know. So, Sasha, sit, sit. What do you want? The pump or this? Yeah. 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 This? The pump? <laughs> no, the pump is not for you. This is for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it can be a suitable pump for travel, of course. But if you think it's too expensive, I can understand. This is $89 currently. I'm not really sure about this price. I will blend it in here or here, so check it out. 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. And if you have a huge fur baby like Sasha, make sure your pump is in your pocket and not on the floor. <laughs>